Hey boys and girls, so what we're gonna do today is a little bit of a challenge to figure out the area and perimeter of a room in your house. So the perimeter is all the way around your room, the outside of your room. And then the area is all the space inside. I know you guys talked a little bit about space and in the book that you read this week. So we're gonna talk a little bit about space inside this room. So I'm gonna walk it out in steps instead of measuring it out if you would rather measure it out in uh, using a tape measure you can do that as well but I'm gonna do it in steps all right so when you're walking around the room take your take big steps start at the wall and walk all the way along so one two three four five six seven eight so that's eight steps along this way one two three four five six Seven steps this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps this way. Now that you've seen me walk the perimeter of the library classroom, I'm gonna draw it out on a, a whiteboard. You can do it on paper as well. What you'll need is you'll need a ruler, say I have a big one, but uh, you can use a small ruler, and a pencil um, if you're using paper. So I'm gonna draw this out. We're gonna find the perimeter of this and the area. So I want you to do this for a room inside of your house. So you can walk it out and see how many, how many steps it is and how many out with the area. So. And on t uh, my, my long side was eight steps long, and my short side was seven steps long. long. So what we're gonna do, and this side we know is the same as this, is eight steps long. This one's seven steps long. We're gonna, to find the perimeter of this, the perimeter, we have eight steps plus seven steps plus eight steps plus seven. So all these added together. So if we take eight plus eight, we know that equals 16. And if we put seven plus seven, we know that equals 14. Now we have to add those together. Six plus four is 10. Carry the one. Three, or one plus one is three. So uh, we have a perimeter of three, or sorry, excuse me, of 30 steps. 30 steps all the way around. If we wanna find the area, that's a little bit different. We're gonna find the area or what's the inside, the inside of this. So what I'm gonna do, this is eight steps. I'm gonna make seven marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna find seven marks because this is eight steps and it will make, seven marks will make eight different places. So I'm gonna, have, for seven, I would choose six marks. One, two, three, four, five, six. About as spread out as you can be. I'm gonna take my ruler, draw lines at each mark. So, I know it might be a little bit difficult to see, but now we have boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is gonna tell us the square steps, how many steps are inside of those. So I'll count these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I'm at 16 right here. Six squares, so that gives us our area. Our area, our area is 56 square steps. And our perimeter is 30 steps. You also might know that if we multiply eight times seven, that's how many squares we get if you know your multiplication. 
So let's see if you can measure your, a room in your house and give us the area and the perimeter in steps. You want to use a, a ruler or a measuring tape to get feet or inches or meters, you can do that as well. Good luck.